Burns is a 1975 news, uh, musical documentary uh, by the Maisel brothers, Albert and David Maisels, who were big documentary filmmakers in the 70s and 80s and the 60s. And um, Jerry Torrey here, my friend here, who co-wrote the book The Marble Fawn of Great Gardens with me, was um, a friend of these two eccentric women, Mrs. Edith Bouvier Beale and her daughter Edie, who were direct relations to Jacqueline Kennedy. So what was, in, and you, you lived this, this was, your life when you were a young man? 16 years old. I had been an assistant gardener on Lily Pond Lane in East Hampton, and my chores were light, and they were easy to take care of. Property was already taken care of. <laughs> my half, half the day it was off. I went down a road I had not yet ridden, and uh, I turned left. The hedges were 30 feet tall, three stories at least. And sure enough, I turned left. There's the peak of the mansion that you can only see one room. It was a 28 room mansion, but oh it didn't God. make sense where it was located. Everybody's house over there, mansion estate, was more beautiful than the next. So I was confounded. Why is this Adams family's house? <laughs> what is it doing here? It's a good description. It was really good, it was really wonderful, interesting. I was uh, taken, I it was just overwhelmed with interest. So there, I discovered the property, went back the next day, I mustered up the courage to trespass at 16. <laughs> what's the difference? You know, a few days in jail for trespassing. But anyway, we met Mrs. Bill and Edie, God bless them. And my life began. So but these folks lived a very different lifestyle than everybody else. Oh, them. yes, yes, <laughs> absolutely. It was, it, that, that's what's so fascinating. I think one of the reasons that it, it's, the film has fascinated people for generations is because of the dichotomy of these of these scions of aristocracy, I mean, they were Bouviers. They right. were Jacqueline Kennedy's aunt and niece. They were, they were truly you know, the, the definition of high school. Exactly, exactly. And they're living in absolute squalor in one of the most beautiful, uh, affluent areas in the country. And so when Jerry says it was an Adams family house, it's a great description because you're driving along and you see one more beautiful house after the next, after the next, and, and then, then there's this haunted house in the middle of it. And that's how it started. Well, folks will have an opportunity to kind of get a better feel of this coming up tomorrow night. Uh, the Beals of Grey Gardens is screening uh, at the Palm Springs Cultural Center uh, at the Camelot Theaters. 760-325-2582. What time is the screening, gentlemen? Six, six, six o'clock. Perfect. That's great. So go at six o'clock tomorrow evening. You can call ahead uh, and get your tickets. And thank you, Jerry. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Fascinating thank stuff. You. Okay. Yeah. It must have been wild to live it. It was wild. You have to come back and tell us more. Oh, it was quite interesting. It was the or beginning you, of the book. The book. It's in the book. Right? Yeah. You buy the book. We get the book. <laughs>